Uh, quick Dodger update for those interested. It is now nine to one. And at the end of four. So. I don't usually get nervous. Um, I can usually speak from, from the hip pretty easily and from the heart. Um, but tonight I wrote everything down, just in case. It is truly an honor to be with you here tonight to introduce Suzanne Kaverly, Rebecca Suzanne Kaverly. I'm a proud LBUSD parent, a CCEJ board member, and currently serve as the president of the Board of Education for Long Beach Unified School District. I've had the privilege and pleasure of knowing Suzanne for several years and pretty much elbowed my way into this introduction as soon as we knew she was a recipient. Uh, and I did that because she is, in short, spectacular. Suzanne was born to junior high and Long Beach Poly sweethearts who are lifelong educators. She says she lived a fairly idyllic life in the LBC, full of privilege, support, and opportunity, but admits that as a teenager, made some less than positive choices. Working to overcome them set her on a journey of faith, recovery, personal introspection, and a deep desire to live a life of service to others. Luckily for LBUSD, she returned to work full-time several years ago after doing a great deal of work with families and organizations that serve young people. Her first task was to help design the program that has evolved into Beach High School. For those unfamiliar with Beach High School, it's a small credit recovery high school that serves students for a variety of reasons, have fallen behind in credits, and need additional support to get on and stay on track. And while she was there, she was a fantastic teacher who loved her students, but she felt she could do more to get to know them and connect with them. So she ended up becoming the ASB moderator. As part of her job, she ended up attending a Building Bridges camp, knowing absolutely nothing about it. And when I asked her about it, she said with absolute certainty, it changed my life. I can tell you today without any hesitation that because it changed her life, it has impacted the lives of every student in our school district. Two years ago, knowing that she was ready for prime time, the district wisely placed Suzanne at Long Beach Poly Pal as assistant principal, a return to her roots for Poly, so to speak. Pal is similar in model to that of Beach High School, and once again, she was challenged to create community. As an aside, school board members have absolutely zero say in administrative assignments, um, but I admit that I was never shy about sharing my respect um, and reverence for the work that Suzanne did, and that if an opportunity ever arose at Polly Powell, that maybe that would be an excellent choice. I don't know that that did anything. I'm pretty sure that it did not, because everyone in this district knows the magic that happens with Suzanne. The day I got my board packet that had administrative assignments, I literally tore open the envelope, scrolled down the list of names, and saw her placement at Polly Powell. And cried. I am the mom of a former Polly Powell student who did not have the opportunity to be there under her leadership, but I can only imagine how she would have impacted and changed his life, and how thrilled I am for the current students who get to experience her every day. While the district has other administrators who know of and do a wonderful job in implementing restorative justice practices, Suzanne is without question the strongest and most important trainer of administrators and teachers that our district has. Her brilliance, passion, energy, and enthusiasm are infectious and seemingly boundless. Her tireless work has created not just safe school environments, but cooperative learning communities that thrive. Restorative justice practices and the lessons she learned at camp enhanced and amplified her passion to work with and serve young people. She leads by example and encouragement, having high standards for herself, her teachers, and staff. At the core of all of this work is her fundamental belief in the value and dignity of everyone she encounters, irrespective of age, background, education level, or ability. She sees goodness and talent in every student she encounters and coaches and cheerleads them into seeing it in themselves. This is critical as many of the students have faced tremendous difficulties and have 
challenges um, finding a place to belong and feel supported. Through her own personal journey and her work as a teacher, mentor, and administrator, Suzanne has taken the lessons she learned from CCEJ to new heights. She has woven them into every aspect of school life for her students, teachers, staff, and beyond. Suzanne, I am grateful to your parents for giving you such a tremendous foundation. I am grateful to your family for sharing her with us, not just her time, but her heart. I am extraordinarily proud to stand here today as your friend and as your boss's 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 boss. <laughs> to very publicly say thank you for all that you do for every child every day. This is an incredible honor that is very well deserved. So students and Mr. Wilson, what time is it? Five. Come on up. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Megan. Wow, um, it's an honor to be here tonight and to be introduced by the president of the school board who is truly met like my boss's 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 boss. That is who she is. And it's also a blessing to work in a school district that aims high in the support of all students, the protection of all students, and the equity of all students. The Long Beach Unified School District allows us the freedom to use restorative practices in pursuit of closing the achievement gap and shutting down the school to prison pipeline. And I wanna thank all the school leaders who are rethinking the way we teach, the way we correct, and the way that we support students. You know, we should really be excited about the work that's happening in Long Beach because the district's focus on social emotional learning and school culture and climate is moving our youth forward and it's in measurable ways. And it's work that we should be proud of. And my work is only a small part of that movement. And so I share this honor tonight with my fellow Long Beach Unified School District people. So through my study and practice of restorative justice, I've learned a lot of really cool things. Um, but the most important thing that I think I've learned is that when we build real communities, strong communities, we can measurably reduce conflict and harm, and we can significantly increase the potential for higher student achievement. And this is because strong sense of community creates in us a desire to maintain relationships. And when things go wrong, Strong communities create a willingness in us to do whatever it takes to make things as right as possible. So thank you to CCEJ because I am a product of your teaching. I came to camp, I just wanted to like hang out with kids and like learn some stuff and I was just gonna, you know, and you gave me so much more than that. CCJ, the work that you're recognizing tonight is actually a reflection of the work that you've done in me. And thank you to Jean and Ann Lentzner for being examples for all of us of how to serve our community. And congratulations to Ms. Chapman and to Mr. Fernandez and Building Healthy Communities for the recognition of your work. I wanna thank the people who support me every day because it takes like a village to like get me up here. <laughs> Thank you to my parents who both have beautiful records of service to our community. Thank you to my husband who's been my partner in life, recovery, and the pursuit of happiness since I was 19 years old. And he's still around. <laughs> Thank you to my sons. My son Miles is here with us and my son Owen is far away, but you truly are my heart and my soul. Thank you to my friends and to my school families at Beach and at Powell High Schools. And thank you to Lloyd Wilson. There aren't even words to express how you support me every day. I also wanna thank my God because he is the example of justice grace and mercy in my life. 
And to the youth of Long Beach, this whole thing is all about you. And thank you for inspiring us to work harder and to love more because you have made miracles a part of my daily life. And I wanna thank you for celebrating this work with me tonight. Thank you.